the broadcaster was set to leave his mid-morning weekday show at the end of March, saying goodbye to his loyal listeners of 31 years. However, it has recently been reported Kin will be leaving his BBC Radio 2 show early due to the BBC becoming frustrated over the free advertising for his next station. Last week, Ken announced his final show before joining Greatest Hits Radio would be Friday March 3 after the BBC said they wanted him off the air a month early. A source claimed to The Sun, the BBC believe that every second he is on air is just free advertising for his new show on Greatest Hits Radio. They became frustrated by the rival station launching a marketing campaign for his show. It leaves a sour taste. Ken announced the news to his listeners via his Twitter account where he wrote, I will be presenting my last show on Radio 2 next Friday. I had intended fulfilling my contract until the end of March but the BBC has decided it wants me to leave earlier. Let's enjoy the week ahead. Former colleagues and friends of Ken flock to support the radio presenter, as Carol Vorderman said. I couldn't wish you more love in the world Ken. Thank you for everything you've done and the smiles you gave Whiters and I on Countdown so many times. Sick, James Mary fumed, no way to treat a loyal servant. Obsessed with change. A stable society has its constants, its reliability, its expectations. Witty Leaks agreed, agreed. We should have had a whole month of tributes and celebrations for one of the BBC's most talented and popular broadcasters. I will be boycotting Radio 2 after next Friday. The way they have treated Kin is absolutely appalling. Sick, Jeremy Clarkson simply stated, I'll miss you, Ken. Fans such as at Cecilia Torre expressed, Next Friday will be the last day I ever listen to hashtag Radio 2 in my life. Dot the station will no longer exist as far as I'm concerned, after the way they treated you and hashtag Steve Wright. Sick, Alan Weston said, What a nabs joke. Why does the BBC treat its most loyal and well-loved names with such disrespect once they are surplus to requirements? All the best for the future Ken, you'll be missed. Sick, Vernon Kay was announced as his replacement and broke down in tears while talking about his new role. Appearing on the Zoe Ball Breakfast show this morning, Kay paid tribute to Ken and said, it is part of us, it is in our DNA, Ken Bruce is mid-mornings. You don't think of any other DJ when you think of that slot. Whatever channel you choose to listen to, whoever is on mid-morning, it's the Ken Bruce slot. He has made it his own and he is an absolute legend of broadcasting. To be asked to step into those big shoes, it was a big deep breath, I'll be honest with you. Obviously, I am over the moon and so are my parents and Tess and the kids. But it's the Ken Bruce show and the man has raised the bar so high that I'm just so excited to be able to take the reins. I am absolutely over the moon, I really am. <laughs>